This is the new super fast Flashforge Adventure 5M Pro that was sent to me for a review. Let's get it unboxed and run the first couple of prints. You can see it's well protected in its packaging. And outside the box, this is how it looks. Alright, looking at the back side, you can see we have three vent holes. We, down here at the panel we have Ethernet, which is very nice. It does have Wi-Fi as well. So this is one of the ports, I think it's for internal air. This is for air circulation or motherboard. And also motherboard or internal external circulation. There's a lot of fans, I have to figure out what they all do. Inside the machine it's packed with different uh, components, like the power cable. Nothing fancy, You've got some filaments, just like a half or a third spool of this high speed uh, dual color glitterish uh, filament, looks nice. Of course accessory box, we'll have a deep dive in that in a few seconds. Let's get the rest of the packaging out. Ooh, looking good, very nice. Let's get the last plastic off so we can get this going. There you have it, unboxed! But before we can start, we need to remove the securing bolts for the build plate. Inside the accessory box, we have a filament hole with screws, we have some grease, we have Allen keys and this special key, I don't know exactly what it's made for. We have it. We have a small screwdriver, we have a, one of the clippers. And we even have an extra nozzle, which is super nice. I'll show you how that works later on. And we got some extra glue to make sure our prints stick. Then we power it up. It's not the fastest boot time. That's actually 18, 19 seconds. And then it's time to just set up English. Here you want to make sure that you have removed those screws for the build plate. And now the machine is going to do some calibration. So first off, it will just level. This is fairly simple, nothing fancy. And then it's going to do some uh, vibration, so if you hear this sound in the background... Those are some scary frequencies, but this machine is actually testing all its different frequencies. Time for some shiny. And when it's done with that, we can load some filaments. And when it's hot enough, it will start to extrude, so it seems like there were some yellow test prints before. Because here's my new filaments. Remove that, click OK, and then it wants to print the calibration cube directly. I think they are mostly wanted to show you how fast the printer is, but I'm super excited. This is really fast. And you know we have to start with a proper 3D Benchy as the first print, so we load it from the SD card. What I like is that you can see the settings, you can see if you want to do a leveling or not, and then you copy the file or it copies it itself, and then starts to print. So it's gonna start to heat up. And it does the leveling, and... What the... Okay, let's talk about that later. Some stringing inside the model, it's probably due to the filaments, but uh, yeah, worth noticing. Okay, so that first print, it actually three prints. <laughs> yeah, so something happened, I think it's me forgetting about the glue, but I would still expect the build plate to kind of handle PLA without that. Maybe it's this glitterish high speed material that needs the glue. So even when I tried with the glue, maybe I didn't apply it correctly or something, maybe I messed up the leveling, um, because the first real attempt with the glue, the benchy actually slipped at the end and I didn't get the, the chimney. That's weird. The second one went really, really well. So this is a, a very nice print. You can see it by close-ups, especially on my website where you can zoom in on images. It's really nice quality. I, I really like it. The second model that we printed that's inside right now, this Oscars model, that was really nice. It was super fast. I printed like, what is that, 150 millimeter or something? Printed that in like 20 minutes as well, uh, maybe 30. 
but it's very nice, very fast. I can't wait to try it out with a ton of different materials and really, really see how far we can push this machine. Another thing I'm really impressed by so far is the touchscreen. That's really nice. It's so much features. Uh, coming from the Bamboo Lab world, uh, I'm not used to that. I don't have that on my P1S. So compared to the competition, this one has a big plus already. So make sure you subscribe for the review and for all the other videos where we're gonna face this machine off to the competition, which I'm super excited to do, like the 5M versus the P1S. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good competition. Uh, so I can't wait for, to make those videos for you. That's all we can do in this first impression unboxing video. Uh, make sure you let me know what you want me to test and print, and I'll make sure to do that for you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and bye.